Welcome to this video on swapping between frames. My name's Andy Wicks and in most applications you need to have several screens to allow the user to switch between different segments of your program. One way of achieving this is to make several frames which live inside the main window. Each is then made to fill the window and then the user swaps between them. And fortunately this is quite easy to achieve. A frame is a widget, like any other widget, and can be added to root. However, this widget is used to hold other widgets and can become a separate user interface. Each frame is then made to fill root. We then write a function for each frame which makes that frame visible and any other frames invisible. The user can then swap between the frames by clicking a button or selecting a menu option which allows them to see the frame that they want. Now let me show you the program running before we get into any code. This program isn't particularly exciting. What you're getting is a logo, a label and a button. And when we click the button we can flip between frames. So when I click the change to work button what I get is this is the work frame. When I click change to quiz, changes back to the quiz frame. We're doing this in preparation for the next videos which look at how you lay out a frame in a more user-friendly way. And that is going to be looking at an application where you have a quiz each week and you want to record the scores. And you also have some work that you're meant to upload each week. And you want to record the fact that you have done that. So this is in preparation for those videos. Now let's go back and see the code that produces this. Having set up the main window and centered it on the screen, as has been shown in previous videos, we now want to create the two frames, the quiz frame and the work frame. And all we have to do is tell the computer that these are frames and that they're to be added to root, the top level window in our application. In this application, I'm going to need a couple of fonts. So I'm just going to declare these in the same way as I have done in previous videos. The next step is to add the logo and the label. To add a logo image, you first of all have to define which file it is you want to use and then add that file to a label. We're creating a heading that's this is the quiz frame but notice that with both of these they're both being added to the quiz frame and not root. This is different to the way we've done things in the past. Having created the image and the label we can now pack these onto the quiz frame with some suitable spacing top and bottom to make it look a little nicer. The next step is to add the button that we need to the quiz frame. Buttons have been added in several of the previous videos, so there's nothing new there, except that we want to add our own function, change to work. So the command option needs to refer to the change to work function. Then we can pack that button onto the quiz frame in exactly the same way as the other items, with a little bit of space, again to make it look nice. Adding the widgets to the work frame happens in exactly the same way. The only change we make is to the names of the variables and the functions being called. They now have to refer to the quiz frame and so on. So we're going to have exactly the same logo, a similar label and another button on the work frame. Now we need to pack the frames onto the root, but this time it's a slightly different pack command. We've got these options, fill both and expand one, which force the frame to cover the entire window. And we're using these because we'd like the user to swap between frames as if they were separate windows. We only need to put the quiz frame on at the moment because the work frame will be added by the buttons, which is where we're going next and is the final step. We now have two functions, change to work and change to quiz. And all these do is to allow the computer to forget one screen and pack the other. Forget means make it invisible. Pack means make it visible. In the change to quiz function, we want that the other way round. We want to pack the quiz frame because that's the one we want to see if we're in work. And we want to forget the work frame for the moment. And by doing this, we get an application that allows users to switch between different screens and that makes your application much nicer for the user.